Hi friends, today in this video we will go in detail with the design and detailing of raft slab as well as pile raft. What are the unique and uh, really helpful features which will help us in making the design more effective and as per user's requirement. So let us start with what are the basic detailing and design settings that we need to do in the project before we before we start the design. So on the screen we see a raft slab uh, file which is already we have already read in RCDC FE. So to start with we have general design and detailing settings like setting the material property, the clear cover. These are the basic design settings. Now here we have an option of design strips. First option is to match the strip center to column center. So whatever strip is generated in uh, the file will be matched with the column center. If this is a requirement, we need to select this option. Now there are three options. One is a strip width, another is a strip design interval and the preferred bar length. So the basic difference between the strip width and strip design interval is that for example, if I have to set the strip width and the design interval for x direction. So if my strip width is 1000, so my Along X, my strip width will my strip width will be 1000, which is 1 meter, as I have shown the distance, and the design interval will be 1.2 meter, which is 1200 millimeters. So while designing, I will have a cube like this, like 1 by 1.2 meter cube, for which I will be designing. Now again, this designing is dependent on the average method or an isolated region method which we will see in the further part of the video. Similarly for Y direction, if my strip width is 1000 and design interval is uh, 1200, then my strip width will be 1 meter along Y direction and 1.2 meter, which is my design interval. For, so for Y direction, my cube will be 1 by 1.2 by 1 for the designs. Moving ahead, next we have the option for providing mesh for bottom by default mesh will be provided here we need to mention the area of the steel that we need to cover by providing mesh when we come to top we have an option whether we have to provide a top mesh or not so if i select the option to provide top mesh i have to enter the percentage for which i have the top mesh area has to be covered so basically when it comes for providing top mesh we generally have a moment at the top mid portion of the slab. So it is completely user's choice whether he wants to provide a top mesh with whatever percent. We can have a 30% of mesh and whatever additional at the top mid is required will be provided in the curtailed form in the second layer. So a top, providing top mesh is completely on the intensity of moment at the top mid. For bottom generally we can provide a higher percentage of the area which is to be covered by mesh and the additional wherever is required will be provided in a curtailed form on the second layer. So this is with the mesh. Next we have the detailing direction which is like which is if I have a structure which is a, a regular structure with wherein I want to detail in global x direction. So my main longitudinal bars will be in the first which the first layer will be in the x direction. The second will go in the y or if I have an orthogonal structure at some rotated degree then I have to pick the edge wherein I want the first layer along that edge. Uh, so this is with the detailing direction. Now there are two more checks the crack width and the initial thermal cracking check. This is completely user dependent. If the user wishes to perform, he has to just select the tick ch uh, checkbox and enter the permissible value for the allowable crack width. And for initial thermal cracking, the permissible value along with the peak hydration and the seasonal temperature variations. So this is the general design and detailing settings in short, which is really important for the required type of design which we are expecting from the software. Continuing with the design and detailing settings, next we have the reinforcement settings which is a generic but important setting like we need to set the minimum, maximum, nominal and temperature steel percentage for providing. Uh, we have the rebar spacing for main as well as shear reinforcements. The preferred rebar like if we are wishing to use bundled rebar we need to select this. The main shear 
minimum and maximum like main steel minimum maximum the range needs to be set and same for shear steel the preferred rebar settings the available rebars using which we want to design the uh, slab raft slab width so whatever settings we make over here the design will be performed like if i'm not selecting if i'm say, saying that let me start my design from 16 and let it go up to 25 only so i can do this and uh, i have to select whatever range i've given i have to select the rebars over here so that's with the reinforcement settings so next under design and detailing settings we have the anchorage setting now we have different anchorage settings in each zone wherever the reinforcement is provided. Like for top rebar, we have a different options for anchorage settings. Like I, I can have a fixed value, I can have a multiple of depth, I can have overlap value. For bottom rebar anchorage, I have different values. So for each type of anchorage, I have got a relevant image which I can relate to while making the setting. So for extent of bottom rebar, I, if I have, I am setting if I'm selecting the fixed value, okay? So what is A, what is C? I can just relate it with my extent of bottom rebar. So for every zone or for every area where I'm providing the reinforcement as per design, I can have different anchorage setting for each zone. And a relative diagram is provided for just making the setting for each zone. So this is again important setting for just extending the bar or just minimize. So these are the anchorage setting. One more is the pile and rock anchor. So for that, let us uh, just go through the pile raft. So in a pile raft model, we see that this option is enabled for us. So when we click on the pile and the rock anchor, the whatever is modeled in the file will be by default uh, imported. Here we have an option for rock anchor also. So whenever I'm selecting rock anchor, the pile part will be freezed and I have to enter the diameter for the rock anchor and other capacities for the same diameter. So I can have rock anchor or I can have pile. Pile is auto detected from the model as it is been imported from the MDB file. So these are the design and detailing settings that we need to make for raft slab or, or pile raft for raft slab as well as pile raft the general reinforcement and the anchorage settings remains the same only the pile and rock anchor option will be enabled in case of pile raft design only so next in the list we move on to the region wise designing method like we have two methods in the software one is the average method and one is the isolate region method so both the methods can be used at the same time in the same project let us see how so on the screen we see the plan view of this project so first let us see how to see the regions so you are in the modify menu under regions we have an option to view now i have different regions with different local access for each region so now we see in view, we see the slab numbers. I have S1 and then the other slab numbering, which is already done. When I want to uh, apply different design method for each region, what I do, I go to region settings, which is again under regions option. So here I have the list of regions which are mentioned here, which we can see here. Like S1 is the entire slab, the raft slab. Then S2, S3 are the individual pedestal type slabs. So for S1 by default, the design average method will not be selected. Like if I select the design average method, it will do the average of the entire slab, which is practically really not applicable okay so for uh, s1 i don't have by default the design average method selected whereas for all the other individual like raft slabs i have the uh, design average method selected now again for s12 and s13 which are a bigger regions average design method is not selected so this is really important what is the design method that we need to select for designing the slab so once we perform the design for this project we will see what is the difference between the average method and the isolated design method moving ahead there is an option in the software to set different levels like we can 
match the top for the raft slab with uh, respect to the different pedestals or we can match the bottom or if we have a lift pit we can lower the area of the lift pit so let us actually see how it works so on the screen we see a 3d view of the raft slab with the different pedestals and a lift pit so when i see the front view i can see that there is no consistency there is neither see there is a bottom match for these uh, pedestals we have the lift pit which is lowered so what i can do i can just if i want to match the top i can just select the main raft slab go to modify and say raft and under raft and pedestal level i can say top so vertical offset values it will give you um, an option or a pop up whether whatever is there it will be overridden so now again when i see the elevation or the front view i can see that the top is matched now if i have a lift pit and i want to just lower this lift pit by say 1.5 meter so what i can say i can go to slab top and enter the dimension in mm so i can enter minus 1500 and accept it so the lift pit only will be lowered by 1.5 meter so we can see that the top for the pedestals is matched and here the lift pit is lowered in this way we can have different levels for different areas or different pedestals so for differential levels we have three options or we can have n number of options depending on what pedestal or what uh, element has to be lowered like here we see the bottom is matched all the pedestals are raised here the top is matched the lift pit is lowered as we actually implemented it here the entire slab is matched with all the pedestals as well as lift pit if i want individual like individual pedestals to be lowered or it has to be raised by any um, distance then that can be done so we can have different levels for different slabs also we can design a combined footing or a combined pile cap in rcdc fe like il raft with a combined pile cap and individual pile cap combined pile cap with n number of columns like 2 3 we can have it with one and a pile raft similarly we can have a combined footing isolated footing or a pile uh, raft slab which can be designed in rcdc fe so once i am done with making all the setting uh, which is ready for the design now i can design my project for different Uh, load cases and different load combinations like we have a dead load live load queue earthquake and wind loads i can add a sign i can add from analysis either or i can add for add from templates we have two templates for regular and an irregular structure so i we will say we'll add from analysis and just go ahead with the design So once my auto design procedure is done I get a list of failed elements which on pressing okay I get the failure reason like Z76 which lies in the reason region S1 has failed for bottom Y for required PT and the max PT is this so in this case what I can do I can just increase the max PT to 1.6 and then again design the project or else if I have to see what is the AST provided against ast required what i do i just go to design bottom y wherein it has failed so s1 under s1 lies z76 so i'll just expand the list so z76 the ast provided is 2095 against whatever ast required is 6483 and the efficiency is just 32% so what we can do we can just increase the max pt to 1.6 or 1.65 whatever we can also see the other zones or other elements that have failed for detailing against bottom x bottom y and wherein it lies like if i see s13 i can see 101 111 and 112 so this three elements have failed against the ast provided and ast required so again i can rework on whatever the requirement is so now let us see how do we edit actually for bottom y if we have if we i have uh, region s1 wherein i have different zones so if i expand the list for z55 my 
AST that is I've provided is T25 at 150. What I can do for a particular zone, I can just reduce the AST. So if the AST provided fits against the AST required, the software will allow you to do. If we tremendously reduce, like say T12 at, I can also edit the spacing, say 250. So unless and until the AST provided is greater than AST required, it will allow us to make the changes. Or if it, if at any point of the time we had done 12 at 250, it did not allow. So it went back to the previous reinforcement configuration. So in this way, we can edit the reinforcement configuration in any specific area wherever it is required by just going to the design menu and edit reinforcement option. We can edit X, Y for top and bottom and shear design if it is applicable uh, we can edit it else if it is not applicable it will just show it is not applicable before the auto design we had made a setting wherein we had set the regions to be averaged as an isolated region or a design average method so if we see s2 s3 s4 example s2 s3 s4 we had asked the software to design it for an average method so it has actually designed the pedestals for the average and provided a single steel in short. Okay. And for S13, we did not select the design average method. So S13, it did not do averaging. Whereas for S2, S3, S4, S6, it has, all, it has done the averaging and provided the steel likewise. So this shows the difference between isolating the region and averaging the forces for the further design purpose of each zone. So coming back from editing the reinforcement, we also have different reports that can be generated, the design calculation report and the drawings. So under calculation reports, we have failure diagnostics, which we have already seen the design calculation report region wise and for punching of column and wall into the slab. So if we take region wise in S1, we have Z top X and under that we have different zones which are generated. So we can see the design calculation report of any one uh, region and the punching report of any one. I have the design calculation report with the abbreviations, the code reference and we also have a report for punching shear for different columns. So for punching we have c2 and the de detailed design calculation and the comparison like tau e as the tau e is less than tau c we don't have the shear calculation then we have report for all load cases that are selected again it is region wise and the column or wall wise for the punching shear then we have a design summary let us quickly go through the design summary we have region wise design summary for s1 the top X, top Y, bottom X, bottom Y for each load cases is provided and for flexure design, the general, basically the summary of the entire design that is performed. Next, we have the BOQ report, which is again of two types. We have a BOQ summary and the diameter wise BOQ. Here we need to enter the rate of the concrete and the steel, the plan area if required, the currency in which the BOQ is required and the shuttering rate. And if we just select OK, we get two reports, the BOQ summary report and the BOQ diameter wise report. Next, we have quick BOQ. Now, this is a really, uh, this is really very important tool or a handy tool wherein we get the reinforcement quantity in short on a single click. Next, we have drawings. The GA drawing that can be generated from the report section. We we can have a GA drawing for top reinforcement, bottom reinforcement, the text schedule. So let us generate the top reinforcement. Uh, plan. We don't want a GA plan as of now in the reinforcement drawing and just say OK. So here is the top reinforcement drawing for this particular project along with the bar mark legend where the bars are marked with the given bar mark in the GA drawing. So in this way the drawing for bottom and top that to top along X and top Y can be generated differently and can be saved in the DXF format for further working. For sections, we have a right click option. I can have a section at X, a section at Y. We can have a section through the column also like 
pedestal like if i say section cc i have a section through the pedestal here and so here my bottom is matched so, so the pedestals are raised so in this way we can have different we have different options and we have different options and settings that can be used to get the required design which is expected from the software thank you